today we will discuss about the cephalic vein we will reflect the skin of the uh, this is the right side of the upper limb and we have reflect the skin of the whole of the upper limb so the cephalic vein it is also called the preaxial vein it is start from the here you can see this is the anatomical snuff box along with its there is a radial artery so it is start from the anatomical snuff box here you can see this is a cephalic vein it is start from the anatomical snuff box and it is a continuation of the dorsal venous arch there is a lateral end of the dorsal venous arch it is into the lower part of the forearm it is lies on the lateral aspect along with its along with its there is a uh, lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm here you can see this is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm it is a continuation of the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm it is a continuation of the muscular cutaneous nerve uh, after supplying to the muscles of the front of the arm it is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm so the cephalic vein it is along with the uh, it is start from the dorsal venous arch on the uh, dorsal venous arch inside the anatomical snuff box on the lateral aspect here you can see this is the cephalic vein and these are the tributaries in open inside the cephalic vein it goes along with the uh, lateral border of the forearm into the cuboidal uh, fossa it lies inside the cuboidal fossa it lies lateral to the biceps muscles and then it goes inside the front of the forearm inside the superficial fascia and at the lower border of the uh, pectoralis major it uh, enter inside the deltopectoral groove and this cephalic vein ultimately after piercing to the clavipectoral fascia it is open inside the it is open inside the uh, axillary vein so this is this is the cephalic vein which open inside the axillary veins here you can see the cephalic vein which is lies inside the deltopectoral groove this is the deltoid muscle and this is the pectoral major muscles and in between there is a groove it is called the deltopectoral groove so this is about to the cephalic vein it is the homologous with the great saphenous vein of the lower limb uh, great saphenous vein of the lower limb and always you, you can remember inside the forearm it is along with the uh, lateral cutaneous nerve of the forearm it is a continuation of the muscular cutaneous nerve and it begins from the anatomical snuff box it is the continuation of the lateral end of the dorsal venous arch and uh, there are many unnamed tributaries which is receives the blood from the uh, inside the cephalic vein and most of the cephalic vein the inside the cuboidal fossa which uh, drain the blood into the basic basilic vein here we have not dissected the basilic vein but it is drain the blood inside the basilic vein and some of the blood through the perforator it is goes to the deep vein here you can see this is the perforator like uh, these are the some of the blood which is goes inside the deep vein uh, through the perforating vein so here also you can see this is the perforating perforator and it is goes inside the deep <coughs> so hope you enjoy the lecture of the uh, about the cephalic vein thank you very much